Well, we are driving up Highland Peak here in Nevada. This is the highest mountain that we've driven on during this whole trip that we took out west. But first, these trees right here caught my eye. I told my husband, we gotta pull over and, and take a closer look. Yeah, that one looks like it's dead. But these trees are huge. They're not as big as the redwoods in California. But they are really the Dang, look up biggest, the biggest trees I've ever seen. This thing is huge. I'm just really fascinated by trees. There's just so many different varieties and sizes. You know, to think about how long it took for these trees to grow this big. That's just what fascinates me about nature and being out here and taking photos and videos to see stuff like this. Well, let's just get back on the trail and head up to the summit. Now this place, we just found it by accident. Nobody had told us about it. We looked on the map and saw there was a trail. So we got in the Jeep and decided to go check it out. It is actually the highest point of the Highland Range in Southeast Nevada. It's about eight air miles west of the interesting mining town of Pioche. And Pioche is the town I showed you in my last video. So I'll put a link to that up above. Now Highland, Highland Peak dominates the skyline for miles in all directions. And of course, the higher we're getting here, we're starting to see some snow. But in most cases with these high mountains like this, the tower builders co-op the summit for their artwork which technically is not really artwork. I will show you that in just a moment as we get to the top. This is only a dirt service road and it snakes all the way up to the summit. Tight, co tight corners and loose rocks. Now this road, a lot of people use it to hike up here, but if you have a good vehicle, you can climb up to the top in probably about a half a day at the most. The road is surprisingly good, assuming it's dry and it has been graded recently. But a small passenger vehicle might have to take it very slow and park somewhere and then walk up the rest. Now we had no problem coming up here with the Jeep, even though, yeah, I was still nervous on some of those turns. Some of the road areas are very narrow. But if you go early enough in the day, you probably won't see any other people, which is good if you're driving up to the top. So here we are, we made it to the top, and it is windy and it is cold. <laughs> so we're thinking, how are we going to turn around to go back down? <laughs> it's so narrow up here, but the, oh my goodness, the views are just beautiful. And this is the tower art that they call art. I guess radio towers, I'm not sure what all it is. It's so windy and cold, but see we got up here to this rock which said warning, which I was gonna, I assume might be high voltage, but it actually says radiation warning. So we were like, uh, well, let's go. <laughs> We've seen the top. It's time to go back down. And if you do make it to the top, four-wheel drive is definitely needed on the way back down. So I want to thank you for watching. And if you ever decide to come out here to Nevada and you want to climb up this mountain, whether hiking or driving, now you kind of have an idea what it looks like and, and the road conditions to get up here. Now I have more to come next week as we leave this beautiful area called Highland Peak. But we're only going to go a little farther east here in Nevada to those mountains that you can see in the background. 
we found some really nice campgrounds in that direction. So I want to thank you for watching, and as always, I hope to see you next time on Adventures Outdoors. Thank you.